We've announced some huge stuff this year with Drift Games. We've partnered with Liberty Walk to build Europe's first 2JZ powered Drift Lamborghini. We've put cannons on our Corvette. We have redone our Drift Games HQ. And we've also built our own HQ in the Middle East. But we are not done there because in this video, we've got another massive announcement that we've been holding out on you guys for over a year. Let's get into it. Mano, we mano, fly away, fly away. Fly away with me, it's time to fly away, fly away. His blood set me free, it's time to fly away. All right, guys, we have a lot to get through in this episode. There's a lot of things changing, a lot of things moving, and this announcement is absolutely massive for us. This is the accumulation of over a year's work, and finally, we're able to reveal everything that's happening this year at Drift Masters, including how do drift games play a part? As you guys may be aware or not aware, we've worked with the Drift Masters European Championship for over five years. Now we've been a part of all of their major events. We've done their media, commentary, photos, videos, and our extended team have done a lot of things behind the scenes also. But things are changing at Drift Masters, and one of those things changing is my particular role at the series. Before I get into my personal role in Drift Masters and how Drift Games plays a part, I want to talk to you about how things have been over the last five or six years. So about six years ago, Drift Masters was a Polish-speaking and Polish championship. It happened only within Poland. And six years ago, the team that were running Drift Masters joined forces with us to bring that championship to the rest of Europe, which is what has happened. Now, in that time, we've done a lot of different things within Drift Masters. I've been vice president, I've been a consultant. As you guys know, all of our team here have been the media team, doing all the photos, the videos, the social media, all of that good stuff. But over time, things have changed. When we started working with Drift Masters, Drift Games didn't even really exist. And now, as you guys know, Drift Games has grown to become its own entity. So how do Drift Masters and Drift Games coexist as an advantage for both Drift Masters, Drift Games, and the fans? That was the little question I had to figure out late last year. So the big change that's happening is that no longer does Drift Games work for Drift Masters, now Drift Games works with Drift Masters. So we're bringing Drift Games to Drift Masters. And what does that look like? Firstly, some things aren't changing. Drift Games will still be the official media team of Drift Masters, and I will still be the commentator alongside my good friend Ian Waddington. So all of that stuff is pretty much staying the same as it was with some new additions of staff members and some exciting new projects. But one thing that has changed is that my role as vice president is no longer necessary. I'm now going to be the head of Drift Games, working for and with Drift Masters, who can handle all that stuff on a day-to-day -day basis and be totally focused on it. So where does my role fall in? Well, I am going to be the head, as always, of Drift Games, which is bringing the media team, but also a new halftime show to every single Drift Masters event in 2024. If you've been watching our videos this year, you'll know that we're building the Corvette and our Liberty Walk Lamborghini drift car to bring to every single Drift Masters event as a halftime show to mix them in with some local talent, some crazy builds, and put on an amazing show between the top 32 and the top 16, and get out for a couple of runs near the final as well. I'm not gonna reveal who's gonna be driving the Drift Games Lamborghini, but that's for another video, but it's someone very high profile, and I'll let you take a guess in the comments below. So we're doing all the media, I'm still doing commentary, and now we have a halftime show full of cars, full of craziness, and we're also gonna be looking at trying to make some of the after parties cooler as well. But there was one thing that I always had a dream of that this change of position now allowed me to do. As you guys know, I've always wanted to drive, compete. That's always been my dream. But to be honest, I've noticed over the last 10 years that I have to be less selfish in that position. I think my experience comes through events and putting on really, really big events, which I love to do with my team, and I think we do an okay job of doing that. However, it's very hard to drive at an event you're also commentating at or running or adding the media to. So with Drift Masters, I have to make that decision that I'm never gonna be able to drive at Drift Masters because I'm always gonna be more useful as a commentator hyping up the fans or being head of a media team or putting on this crazy halftime show. But that didn't mean that we couldn't have a team at Drift Masters. And that last year got me thinking. Ever since I was a small boy, I've always had a fascination with motorsport teams. Driving is cool and all, but having a team 
A collective of people trying to achieve a really, really big goal has always been a big attraction for me, whether it's Red Bull, Ferrari, and Haas in Formula One, or RTR in Formula Drift. I've always admired the way they've been able to pull a bunch of people together and make dreams come true by trying to aim for the highest prize in the game. Knowing that I or Josh can't compete on a Drift Masters team, I thought about what if we weren't the drivers on the team? What would a Drift Games team in Drift Masters look like? So with our media team sorted, our halftime show sorted, and obviously still being on the mic myself, I started thinking, and I couldn't get it out of my head, that I wanted to put a team in Drift Masters. But obviously Drift Games isn't a huge brand. We don't have tons of money, and it's very expensive to be competitive in Drift Masters. We were gonna have to do things a little bit differently. The big difference between Drift Games and a specific driver or YouTuber is that we're a collective. It's not just me, it's not just Josh, it's not just the boys. It's anybody that can make some cool content that fans are excited about. And my dream, as time went on, was to not always be the face of this company, was that to let other people shine, new talent come through, people get an opportunity that they might not get anywhere else. And I've been gradually doing that over 10 years with all of the team you see here at Drift Games, bringing them from different places, putting them together, and they make magic happen. So I was gonna try and do the same with picking two drivers for this team that are probably underdogs, unknown, and probably would never have this opportunity if this didn't happen. So I set about talking about this crazy idea to all of our sponsors, our partners, the Drift Masters Championship itself, and tons of people, including our team here at Drift Games HQ. Everybody loved the idea. Take two complete unknown drivers that have all the potential in the world, that would never get the opportunity to be at the championship, put them together on a team, create an amazing atmosphere around them, and see what happens. Be entertaining for you guys to watch, it'd be entertaining for us to be a part of, and I think it'd be good for the sport as a whole. So despite having to work on sponsors, liveries, trucks, transport, logistics, tires, fuel, entries, all of that stuff, which has taken definitely a year to get to where we are now, the two drivers, well, that's pretty tough because you can always go and just call a very successful driver, but they're their own brand, they have their own thing going on. We wanted to get somebody that was special, that was basically the next big thing, not already a big thing. And I started to think about where a lot of these successful drivers have come from. Well, you think of Irish drivers. We're an Irish team. We've got to have an Irish driver on there. But there's a lot of successful ones out there. Look at Connor Shanahan. Look at James Dean. Look at Dwayne McKeever. Look at Jack Shannon. Look at all these guys. So Ireland has had a hugely successful drift life in the competitive space over the last 10 years. But we needed to find the next big thing, a star that would be so interesting that everybody had to watch how he got on. Well, we knew what that was going to be. It was going to have to be somebody young, somebody untested, but with all the potential in the world. And I think we may just have found him. I'm Connor Falvey, I'm 16 years old, I'm a high school student in Rochester College, County Cork, and this year I'll be competing in Drift Masters. When Connor was young, Connor might have only been maybe 12 months old or so, I seen James Dean driving a car. James was only maybe 13 or 14 now at the time. And I thought to myself, oh my God, like, you know, what kind of a mom gives a, a child this car? They're too young. And now, like, 15 years later, here I am. When I was three or four years old, I started going to drift fence with my dad. I used to go to every single drift fence and every practice day, and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it. When I was 13, I got the chance to drive my own, and I just fell in love with it ever since then. When it was told me first that, you know, we'd get something small for Connor, like a little BMW, I thought, you know what, great, you know, this is, this is a good thing for him to do, they could do it together, there was no bother. But things got out of hand a little bit faster than we expected. When I was 13, I got my own car and I got the chance to drive and I done two or three practice days 
and then I had a bash. My dad said take his card for one spin, and then ever since that day, then I've just fell in love with it. I bought a second S15 for myself, and we've Connor's one, and so Connor was only learning at this stage, so that was grand, but Jack fest. So I said, look, I'll bring up the two cars now, and at least if one of them breaks, I'll have another. The Friday night we arrived at the track, and sure, we were a chat, Mr. Dave Egan comes along, and he says, oh, you brought two cars, fair play. I said, Connor, have you got your race suit with you? Connor says, I do, yeah. You'll be the first reserve, and if someone breaks their car, you'll be straight in. So, lo and behold, Saturday morning, who was the first man on track to break his car? Only me. So, I said, you, you were fixing the seat, like, and I said, what are you doing? And he said, taking the car out. I said, I know you're not. I was like, we said if a car broke, Connor was driving, and I was like, unfortunately for you, your <laughs> car broke, so. I had to watch the event from the grandstand, and Connor drove, so. <laughs> That was Connor's first experience in a, a big drift of it. Well, no, he's better than us. That's the best part. Like, we just have to and let it go. Put that to ourselves, man. Yeah, but that's what's not in the room, but. <laughs> right. I started drifting three years ago, and ever since then, I've put in a ridiculous amount of effort into it. I have two and a half thousand hours put up my simulator, and I got the chance to compete in the LZ World Tour, which is my big, biggest event yet and I managed to qualify third amongst the best drivers in Europe and the world actually and I've been competing at a pro level in IDC for the past two years. I'm just going to tell you, Connor, you're 14 years of age and here you are standing at the biggest car event in Europe. How are you feeling right now? I feel like I'm ready to wake up and go to school. It feels like a dream. The funny thing is you do have to wake up and go to school. Good luck with that. So I've been watching drift games since I started really. I've watched every video. And when my dad told me the news that Drift Games wanted me to drive for them in Europe next year on Drift Masters, I was absolutely delighted and uh, I was a bit overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it. I can't wait to go out there with Drift Games and uh, I'm very thankful that I got this opportunity. I'm going to try my best out there. I am very proud of my brother. Um, I think he's doing very well at thrifting and um you think he's going to be james dean uh yeah yeah <laughs> no problem uh definitely <laughs> i think it's very cool and uh that he's very professional and that uh yeah he's going to do very good and i'm gonna be there at every race and we're gonna cheer him on <laughs> we're all proud of my brother and we're excited to all go away well, yes, to remember that I did have a faster but lap time than him in water rest. <laughs> I know Drift Mass is a really tough championship, but I'm going to try my best out there. I have no expectations. There's no real pressure that's put on by anyone else, just myself, really. So I'm going to try my really best. And the only way I can get better, really, is by being against the best. So I can't wait to see my progression over the next couple of years. My dream this year, my goal, would be to qualify for every round and hopefully get into a couple of parades. But the real overall goal is to go out with my family and my friends and just have a great time for the year. We're really proud of him. It is nerve-wracking when him being up against the best in the world. But, you know, he has the support of all the team behind him and I'm sure he'll do great. I feel a little bit real for Connor now because it's obviously toast, we're so. doing the announcement. It was all just talk before that. How do you think he's feeling? Like it's going to be a big step up from. It's, it's a huge step, Dave. To be fair, I think. Look, he's obviously nervous, but the excitement outweighs the nerves definitely. Like plus you know. he's young, so he's young. Yeah, he maybe and he maybe has that freshness, that that little bit of confidence. That I think will yeah will surprise us. Yeah, probably. I think you or me, though, Dave, would be a different kettle of fish for Connor. <laughs> He'd be a bit more nervous. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to show you guys the car. Oh, Connor's here. Hello, Hello Connor. Connor. How are you? I'm good, thanks. He's got the official Driftmasters uh, race, team suit. race suit on yeah. here. Um, this is the S15 that 
Connor will be driving in the championship this year. This car has done quite a few years of Irish competition. Even an interesting fact that this car, long time ago in a previous iteration, actually won the first ever event that I ran in Ireland, which is probably 10 years ago now. So it's actually really fitting. And that year I did my first year of competition and I was battling Tomas yeah. that year. So it's all kind of coming full circle, which is a very cool story. And this thing is, yeah. So this is built by James Dean's older brother, Mike Dean and Dean M Sport and Cork, who builds all of James's stuff. So, you know, it's going to be fancy. So yeah. it has all the bits. So this is definitely a car that's up to par with everything else on the grid. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's, um, it has all the fancy bits, just two JZ fully built. We're hoping to be look close at 900 horsepower, Dave, and hopefully that should be enough to put it up to the I, big boys. I, well, I think a 900 horsepower <laughs> will be absolutely great. And this car will be getting a bit of a transformation in the next couple of weeks. We'll be putting a full FDF race shop suspension on it front and back. The entire Link ECU catalog will be getting in there because we want to make sure this thing runs reliably and we get as much power as we can from it. It's also going to get a full change of livery from Precision Tinted Graphics uh, to match the other car. And this is, it's just a good story because me and Tomas started drifting. Now Connor is going to be on the Drift Games team in Drift Masters in the car that won the first ever event that I ran. Believe me, it didn't look like this. It was a very <laughs> different machine. And it's also built by the family that has the most amount of wins in European drifting, which is the Dean family. So it's a lot of pieces of the puzzle that I yeah. think are coming to us. So all I'm going to do is hand over the official Drift Games steering wheel, which will go in the car. Connor, that is now yours. Thank Don't you bring it to Dave. school with you. <laughs> and that's going in the car, and we will see this thing transform over the next couple of weeks. Super happy to have Connor on the team. And again, we don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. No, I don't have a clue, but I'm super excited and a small bit nervous as you would be like, but I can't wait to just be out there in Spain in my shorts, happy out. <laughs> well, I'll put it this way, no matter how nervous we get, Tomas is going to get an awful lot yeah, more nervous when true. you're out there. Anyway, that's the first announcement. The first driver on the Drift Games team in 2024 for Drift Masters is Connor Falvey, 16 years of age from Ireland. And our second driver is just as interesting. So we added Connor Falvey to the team, 16 years of age, all the potential in the world, an amazing family around him, super nice kid, and a guy that lives and breathes drifting. On the sim, on the track, this guy could be the next big thing. And now we're putting him into the championship. We needed a second driver. Now, one thing at Drift Games we've idolized for our entire existence is Japan. Most of our builds come from Japan. I grew up watching option DVDs. I love Japanese drifting. And we've seen some Japanese drivers come to Drift Masters in the past. We've seen them come to Europe in the past, be it Daigo Saito or Naoki Nakamura. But nobody from Japan has ever gone to Europe or the USA or any major championship that isn't already a big star. So it got me thinking, what's the next big star from Japan? Well, I didn't have to look very far because my friend Lucas, who you guys know from the videos, Bandana Boy, has been working with a prodigy in Japan for the last year. He started telling me all these stories about him, how he came from the streets, how he lives and breathes drifting, how he's everything that you would want a Japanese drifter to be, but he's a little bit unknown. Lucas wanted to get his name out there and I wanted to meet him. After talking for over two weeks about this, I knew we had our guy, a guy that would shake things up in Europe that would be totally unpredictable and exciting to watch. And that guy was perfect for our 2024 drift team. I discovered drifting when I was six. Back then, there was all about street drifting. The street has style. I wanted to be like the guys who drove in the night.
And when I was 18, Team Reverse was born. When I was older, street drifting became more rare. And the name reverse means that we dream to reverse the time. I drive reverse S15 Sylvia. It's powered by 2JZ. It's loaded with 800 horsepower. Oh, it's fast. I've been competing D1 with this car for two years. My dream now is to go to Europe to compete the Drift Masters. The biggest championship in the world. And I hope one day I will become the champion. I was so lucky to meet Dave. Because of him, I have a chance now. Something wrong with this guy. Like, he has no fear whatsoever. Somehow we're still alive. So, see, man, you're wild, wild. So, we had two drivers, and after meeting Ryusei, speaking with him, because he's one of the few Japanese drivers that actually speaks English, I realized his dream was to compete at the top level. And it's tough for him because he's got to leave what he knows in Japan, championship he knows, and D1, to come to Drift Masters, a total unknown. Both drivers, it's total unknown. They've never driven the tracks, they've never been on that level before. But that, to me, seemed like that's what Drift Games is all about. It's about going up against the odds. It's not about doing the obvious thing that you guys are going to put in the comments. It's not about doing the thing that's easy. It's about doing something that's interesting and could turn into something special. And it's also about taking a risk. Because obviously, going to Europe with a full team is a massive risk for us, especially when we're not driving in it. But if this is the opportunity it takes to go and bring new stars to the game, make amazing content, and expand the Drift Games team to both Connor Falvey and Ryusi Akiba, to me, it sounded like even I wanted to know what would happen. So hopefully you guys feel exactly the same way. Now, picking a team and all that is great, but there's still a huge amount of work to be done. You'll notice in our first couple of videos this year, we talked about two containers on the sea from Japan. 
Well, in one of those containers is Ryusei's car. His D1 900 horsepower 2JZ car has been loaded in a container and is currently somewhere halfway across the world on its way to Ireland to be reliveried, set up with our sponsors, and then sent out to Europe. The time scale is super, super tight. We also have to prepare an entire logistics to get what is essentially four to five to six, and we'll talk about that in a future episode, cars, all the way around Europe and to the biggest shows. We've never done anything like this before. Me and Josh even struggled to go to Watergrass Hill in Ireland sometimes. This is a huge jump for us. So we hope you guys are gonna be able to support this journey. I think it's gonna make for some amazing content. I feel it's amazing that we're gonna have all of our good stuff at Driftmasters with our media and our commentary. We're also gonna have this halftime show where I and a special mystery celebrity will drive our Corvette and our Lamborghini to entertain the fans alongside some local builds, which is a whole new part of the show. We're also gonna be bringing a team to the grid. That's a huge amount to do on top of everything else we're doing this year. But we want to let you guys know in advance because the driver grid for Driftmasters is going to be announced in a couple of days. And I wanted to get ahead of that to make sure you guys understood what was happening. I'm super excited. The whole team is excited. But we're super nervous, just like the drivers. The team is new. We're new to this. The driver, it's all new. So it's going to be interesting to watch. So now that cat is out of the bag, i got to talk about the next steps. So... We need logistics, which means we're going to need to buy a really, really big and expensive truck to bring all this around. We're going to show you that in a future episode. Right now, Connor's car is being changed to FDF race suspension, link ECU, and all that good stuff to run on Sunoco race fuel. And then it's going to go to Jay and Precision Tinted Graphics to get a whole brand new livery. Ryusei's car is pretty much good to go. They prepared it in Japan. It then lands here in Ireland. We've got to get it tuned on the dyno at DRT with Lloyd and those guys to make sure it's running okay on the fuel that's here. And then we also got to livery that car. All of this is gonna happen very, very soon, and then it's gonna to have to be put on a truck and sent to Europe. And there's other cars on that truck from other international superstars that are gonna be revealed in the DMEC driver grid as well. So there is a lot to go on here. I, if I'm right in saying we're bringing six cars, three merch shops, two articulated trucks to nine events this year, which is a lot of logistics for us. But we're jumping in at the deep end. That's what we do at Drift Games. And thank you so much to our sponsors, to all of the partnerships that we've created on the back of this idea. They've believed in us 100%. And also thank you to you guys for staying to watch the videos, subscribing. You're making all of these dreams happen. Not just for me and Drift Games, but for more and more people every year who join this team. That's the whole point of Drift Games, is that this team is going to grow. And you supporting it is not just supporting me or Josh or the guys that started this channel, but everybody that comes in along the way. And I really am excited to see how these two guys gel into our team. Well, think about it. One guy's from Japan, and the other guy is in school in Ireland. I mean, let's be honest. That is going to be the weirdest team ever, and it's going to be a lot of laughs and a lot of fun to watch. So thank you for watching this video. We'll get so much more information to you guys over the next couple of weeks, but we just have to release this. We cannot show you the cards as they're going to be. We've put a little 3D render in the thumbnail and maybe on our social media. I'm hoping Lucas can drop it in here of what the cards might look like. So here's a render of how the two cars are going to look this year in Drift Masters. You can see Ryusei's in the yellow to green fade and Connor's car in that Miami blue to light blue fade. We worked super hard on these with Square Design, who's our designer, to give this crazy look of old and new in the one car. So using like the Japanese influence of Ryusei, which is this, you know, old school fade from all the Japanese famous drift cars, but then layering it with like the style of a GT3 car, which is very poppy. All the colors and everything really jump out. The cars are going to look super professional on the grid. We absolutely love how these can out but the problem with it is that we won't show you these cars until we get to spain because these cars are going to be loaded on a truck to the first round immediately before so we won't get a time to shoot them until they get there so why not throw out a render now we want to hear you guys in the comments let us know what you think that's the cat out of the bag that's the information we are going to drift masters in 2024 drift games are going to drift masters in 2024 who's what I don't even know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. That might make it the most fun part. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be nerve-wracking. But you're going to be there for every step of the way. See you on the next one.